Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I've been listening to my colleagues' comments. I've actually found some things to agree with. Mrs. Slaughter mentioned that the American people have been lied to. I agree. They've been told that a policy which raises taxes for 10 years to pay for six years of government programs is fiscally sound. I was struck, Mr. Speaker, that Mr. McGovern spoke, spoke of the small business owner in Massachusetts who couldn't afford his premiums. What he neglected to say is that Massachusetts has the same plan that we're about to implement. In fact, the Democratic treasurer of Massachusetts said that if we implement this plan, we go bankrupt in four years. I was struck, Mr. Speaker, by Mr. Hastings, who spoke how the people outside have lost hope. They've lost hope that Congress is listening. They're tired of being told, you're not smart enough to understand our wisdom. We, the Democratic leaders, will tell you how to live, and after we pass this vote, you will love us all the more. I'm struck that Mr. Cardoza endorsed this, even though his state is going bankrupt from Medicaid and this program backs, uh, expands Medicaid. Mr. Speaker, I ask my colleagues to listen to the wisdom of the American people, vote for the constituents, not for their leaders. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman